How's it going guys, it's Starkiller508 here and welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Star Wars Battlefront Commander mod because so many of you have been asking me and finally I got some time to do it and the reason why I'm doing this so late is because that I had to do a different method to install this mod my usual method didn't work so I had to do this method here and it didn't work out so well for the beginning but I've managed to fix it so yeah uh, Anyways, let's begin. So obviously you want to start by going to your web browser or in this case Google and then just type in Star Wars Battlefront Commander. Whoops. And it should be the first link here. And this is what it should look like. Basically, this is the mod itself. So and if you are unsure about how to get to this link, I will put a link to this actual site in the description below. And so once you're here, obviously, yeah, just to make sure that you know what it looks like, this is the right screen. So once you're here, click on files. And you would want to click on the full version 1.0. And for the patch, uh, obviously, you could click on this link here. For now, we'll just do this video. Well, for this video, we'll do the full version. I'll show you how to do the patch afterwards as well. And again, it should look something like this. Click on this big download now button and this pop up should this pop up should pop up. And if it doesn't download straight away, then click on the link here. It should do it for you. Once you have downloaded it, you'll then need to go to your downloads in my documents and it should be called this Star Wars Battlefront with underscores and you are going to need a program which can open RAR files such as WinRAR and I'll put a link to where I found my version in the description below as well so once it's downloaded right click on this file and then extract to well I like to put it into extract to Star Wars dash Battlefront which will basically cr create a folder for it so click on that and it will create a folder basically like this exactly like that and you're going to need to copy the whole fold whole folder so copy it now you need to go find where your root directory for the actual game is so for my version which is the disk one for purposes of this laptop it will be on computer local disk program files 86 and then from here I have to go to LucasArts if you're using the Steam version continue to the program files and then follow the link follow the path that I'm going to post on screen now so if you're using a steam version of the game follow this path and it will take you to the forces of corruption and you will need to use forces of corruption for this mod but for the disc version we're going to click on LucasArts here and then click on Star Wars Empire War forces of corruption and then place it in the mods folder if you don't have the mods folder here literally just go and create a new folder for it so just click on new folder uh, if it asks you for administration then press continue and then title it mods and open up the mods folder and then you would want to paste uh, the entire folder into this mods folder right here so obviously there's mine right there now to run it I have to use a different type of mod launcher so we have to go back to the internet go back to Google then start type in Star Wars Empire at war mod launcher now the way that I found this particular one as you can see there are many others is that I went to images and it's literally the first image you see here so this is this image the only reason why I had to go to images to find this uh, mod launcher is because there's so many different links but this this is the one you want right here this particular one so then go to visit page and if you're having trouble with finding this because you know you have to go through images and that then I'll put a link to the mod launcher in the description below as well so it will take you straight to this page once again you'll want to just click on download now and then either wait or click on this if it doesn't do anything that will begin the download 
and then once you have that once again go back to your downloads and it should be called this Empire War Mod Launcher version 1.1.0 same as the um, uh, same as yeah same as the mod extract it to its own folder and then it doesn't matter where you put this one so long as you put it in a place you remember but if you want to just leave it in your downloads run this application right here it should be the one at the top Empire at War mod launcher and this is what it should look like this is the pop-up as you can see this is all of my mods that I had in my mods folder that and you would want to click on the play mod button obviously make sure that the right mod is selected as well and then click on play mod down here and it should launch the game modded if it doesn't then I'm not sure because this has worked perfectly for me so far and I'm not sure what's gone wrong so I'm afraid if I don't know what if it doesn't work then I don't know what the problem is feel free to leave your suggestions or problems in the comments below and hopefully somebody else will fix you because I would like other people to help other people here as well that would be very nice now for the patch obviously you want to boot up your internet back go back to that site that you just were on so, yep so make your way back here and then go for the patch file again once again download now click on it just wait for it or click on that link there if it doesn't work straight away go back to your downloads and yeah, my downloads is in my documents for some reason, but I'm not sure why that is. But yeah, go back to your downloads. It will be Star Wars Battlefront 1.03. So copy that. So extract that. So so it makes its own folder, much like you did with the other two ver other two stuff. Open this folder. Open Star Wars underscore Battlefront. Open up data, and then copy these four files here. And then you want to go back to where it is on your computer. So programs files. And then follow the path that I that you followed in the beginning. In case you're using a different version. Open up Star Wars Battlefront Molder. Open up the data bit. And then you want to paste in here. Obviously so that it has the right stuff. And then if it tells you to merge anything, merge all of it. And that is what I did wrong is because that I copied the data folder where all of the stuff is kept and it didn't work. So you need to copy the folders itself. So copy those folders and then if it tells you to merge anything, merge it so that the patch will properly work. That's what I did wrong, you see. And that's how you install. Get out of here. That's how you install Star Wars Battlefront Commander and I hope that this guide really helped you out a lot. It did take a couple tries for me for the mod launcher to uh, amp to uh, work properly but that's just what I did. Sometimes you might need to move the uh, the mod folder application uh, just somewhere else that you can remember so that it can easily find the uh, root directory of the mods if that makes sense. So yeah, if that if you're if it's not working so far, then move the mod then move the mod launcher stuff to somewhere else so that it can hopefully access the things more easier. And if you do have any problems, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them if I can. If I can't, I do hope that others of out you out there can help out everyone else so that we can all play and enjoy this mod together because it really is a good mod. So yep, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm Starker Five Eight. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. I hope this installation guide helped. May the force be with you. Goodbye.